Hi everyone, this is Wakis with Mobile Centrix, and I'm here to go over the new Z1 Laser Machine by M Triangle. I want to go over how easy it is to like use, and how simple by just by following five easy, easy steps you'll be able to operate this machine with ease. When you first get this machine, you'll notice that it comes in a very compact form, super easy to set up. Tilt the head up and lock it at the bottom. To lift it from the back. There's a clip on the back you should be able to take and to put it in from the back side. Once it's secured from the back, there's these arms that you can take to lock in from the sides just to make sure that it doesn't fall right back. And that's simple as that, it's ready to go. For setup, you would need power, a USB connection that connects to a Windows PC, and a fume extractor would be recommended. There's some tools you can buy on mobile, mobile centrics, like metal crawl leg bars and scraping tools for the final finish. First step is to, we need to download the application onto the PC. You can go to Mo mobile centrics product for Z1 laser and in the product description, you should be able to find the software there. After setting up the software, you should be able to open up the software from your desktop from the shortcut. So first step would be to calibrate the red light with the laser. First thing to do is draw a square in the middle of the image and hit mark. I'll draw white square on this black paper. If you hit red light, you'll see that the red light is a little bit off on the white. To configure that, you can go to configure or hit F3 and at the top there's red light. And this is where you would adjust the X and Y axis. Hitting this button down here will show you where currently the red light sits. So we know that we need to move it a little bit down. For us, we need to move down six millimeter and we look at it. That made it go up and negative should make it go down. Do a red preview and we can see where the red light sits perfectly on the thing. I still see it as being off a little bit so I'm gonna recalibrate a little bit more. And for our setting, negative 6.5 did the magic. So I'm going to stop it and at this point we can confirm that hey, this is the correct setting. For our test today, we'll start off using the iPhone design and in models we're going to choose iPhone 8 Plus. One thing you want to see is that when you come to it, it'll say screen, rear cover and back cover. Always choose rear cover. We're going to load the file and the image should show up right in the middle. First thing you want to do is put your housing in the middle and hit the autofocus button. Once the light turns solid green, you know it's focused to the exact position. So the function of the autofocus is that the laser it knows that, hey, if it's going to do any type of burning, it will be doing it at this height and this level. The advantage of that is once the laser is being operating, you should be able to put your hand in the middle and it would stop uh, burning it, your hand. It's its focus is only when it finds depth at this distance, it would continue lasering it out. Once the green light's on, you want to hit the red light sensor. <coughs> There's two ways to operating the red light. One is to have the red light outline on it. And red light outline will try to display, hey, how is the housing going to be cut in this shape? We can see it's completely off. One thing we like to do is just use the, without the red line, or without the outline, we can just do this. And I can kind of see it much more easier 
where the cut's going to be. So at this point, you have to adjust the X and Y axis for the laser itself. But remember, this is only a one-time thing you have to set up. Once you've done it first time, this is it. The machine's good to go forever. And this is the biggest trouble that most shops would run into. And this is the most critical and important part of the setup of this machine. So I would hit stop and go to configure and I'll choose the X and Y axis over here. You should be able to adjust the angles too, but normally it should just be the X and Y axis. I'm gonna first start off putting an X of 12 and a Y of two. And let's try this out. Looks pretty good. However, I can see it's a little bit off over here where I fear that it might burn the frame here and from down here. So I'm gonna adjust it one more time to being a little bit better adjustments. Let's go to 11.5 and 1.95. Let's try it again. <clears throat> this time I can see, hey, the light is solely on the glass, not on the frame, from all angles. And that's the main thing you want to make sure. So playing with these numbers could be a little tricky, but once you do it once, guys, it's easy. Afterwards, once you've confirmed that, hey, this is where you want to cut, there's two ways of doing this. We're moving to step three. Step three. There's only two things you really need to focus on before hitting the mark or the laser. The only two things you want to focus on is speed and power. Speed and power is where how fast it would go and how much power is being inputted in. By default, this is the configurations that they've been set. And by no means is our configurations the, the standard that every shop should follow. However, what we've seen is that setting it at about a speed of 3000 and putting the power up to 100 would be a faster process of just taking off the cover glass. Let's try it. Just for us to see how fast it is. Let's go. In less than two and a half minutes, it's gone ahead and finished. <clears throat> so first step after taking off the black glass for iPhone 8 Plus, you want to break the glass around this corner. So I'm gonna take one and two. If you're doing so, you should be able to mostly push out the glass. And take it off with these. So the glue side, I want to mention that, hey, this is not necessary. But in our opinion, to do a clean job, you should do it a second time, but on a slow there is a separate setting we have for re like moving the glue. Now, removing the glue is, again, you'll find videos where people show that they don't need to re like move the glue. We highly recommend it. You can put it back into the same position where you originally found it and change the settings from speed from 3000 down to 500. What this will do is it would slow, slow down the process. For the speed, it would slow down the process and really burn through the paint or the glue much easier. Um, you could do it on one one run. Some glues are a little bit harder where you might have to do a second run on it. It's a, such an easy process of removing the glass and without harming the uh, frame and everything like that. Um, there's going to be plenty of more videos that we have that we're going to go more in detail. What are the risks, the factors, if you leave components inside or not. But this is just a start. We want to give you the confidence that, hey, it's not really that hard. The only thing is just understanding what the full first setup process is 
and how to take it from there. So why buy from mobile centrix? We definitely aren't the first to offer the laser machine, um, but our main purpose for the laser machine is that we've been doing a lot of R&D on it, and we were never really too satisfied with the machines out there as in the current state. They had too, too like many bugs and everything like that. They're machines you'll find with the LCD panels on it. Now the LCD panels are, are nice, however, there's a very high risk if the LCD stops. The touch starts to malfunction. That's it, you can't do anything. You, you're just stuck with the machine with the, with the faulty touchscreen. So with this machine, we're much more confident that it's easier to like store, it will be easy for the shops to use, and the application has gotten a lot better. Um, this machine for us will come with with warranty with a 30, 60, and 180. The 30 days, if you aren't happy with it, you like don't feel this is the right ma 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 machine for you, ship it back. We'll send you the like label to get the box back. 60 days, if anything goes wrong with the machine, if you say hey the laser isn't pointing right or anything like that, we're gonna help get the machine back we'll fix it if we can't fix it we'll re like re like place it for you other than a physical damage to the actual lens itself however we'll just fully re like place the machine for you if there's any faults or anything like that and ship you out a new 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 one to you without any cost of shipping to you for the next six months or the 180 the 180 will be offering a hey we'll do if there's any issues with it hey we'll re like pair it for you However, we won't be able to just cover the cost of some of the material. We're not going to charge you labor or anything like that, but if there's small components or anything like that, either A, we can ship it to you and we'll, we'll help you cover it, or if there's a part that we can re replace, we'll help you with that. It still comes with a lifetime of guidance and a sub support on it. We're still going to make plenty more videos. We're going to have some of our other team teammates to come and ex explain more to you how to use it. How, and like I said, there's so many ways to you use it. It's not only for backlash where you like mobile. People are using the, the M triangle machine to put cus, cus, custom logos, to put logos on your uh, tools or anything like that. There's plenty of options for it. Mobile Centrix is on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.